Hello R2, this is Mr. Ramirez once again uh, covering uh, our asynchronous lesson for today. I'm simply going to have a couple of uh, samples up here so that you can kind of make reference to some of the elements that I would like for you to work with. Number one, your concept. Um, what would you like to work with? Do you have a theme? Let's start doing some research on themes. Okay. What's going to help me and then what's going to be your grade for today is I've created a, um art survey that I would, that I had, would like for you to work with and I have posted already on the Google Classroom. So if you get a chance, review it. It's not that long. I simply need a couple of uh, bit of information from you as an artist so that we can start developing uh, the communication a lot better. We can start developing the concepts. I can get to know what exactly is going on on that side of your sketchbook. Okay. And so remember to work on a concept. Um, as you know, we did the character of the cosplayer. Uh, I would say Wonder Woman, but in this case we'll just call it a character because it was based on a photograph that we did use with permission. Um, and so this character, we started off, made modifications, as you can see it went through some changes. And then of course the final step was going to be done in ink. Uh, some of the other samples that I have, I've done the same thing, same process. But in this case, this lesson revolves around a digital example. Okay, So that's a little bit different. I know some of you like to work with watercolor. Some of you like to work with paints. But I needed to know what exactly, what type of medium do you have available on your end? Or what would you like to have available? So I need that information from you. If you can please do that um, small survey. That will count as your grade for the asynchronous. But at the same time, I want you to build up your portfolio and then build up on your concept. What exactly will you be working with? Is it going to be a mermaid? Is it going to be a warrior? Is it going to be landscape? Is it going to be lettering? Is it going to be um, surrealism? You know, something that you're comfortable with, something that can be sparked into originality. Um, later, of course, later we'll switch this over to original works, and then we can come up with something uh, completely different for our portfolio. But in the at the same time, for your asynchronous Friday, um, maybe pick a photograph that you're comfortable with in starting, and then of course you would execute the um, product into motion which is working on it into the drawing mode, right? In my case, my drawing, my final drawing will be in full color on a digital platform, which I will use later as a lesson with you. But in this case, it does lend itself, uh, lend itself as a drawing for pencil and pen. So we'll be doing that um, in a progressive manner. By the time we return, I'll have this completed. I'll do it in color. And I'll try and record the stages, of course, so that you can see um, how that process works, okay? So for Asynchronous Friday, build up your sketchbook, work on a concept, find that concept. Once again, is it going to be a mermaid? Is it going to be a warrior? Is it going to be based on ice cream? Is it going to be based on something that you're familiar with? Something Texas themed? Something over a mood? Is it sadness? Is it happiness? Is it anger? Is it frustration? Is it uh, joy? Is it, um, you know, blessings? something. It's going to be a concept for you. Look for it. Do research. Begin something in your sketchbook. Okay. Please work on those ideas. Please make sure you guys have something available. And girls, of course. And then, of course, if you need assistance, feel free to message me, even if it's an asynchronous Friday. I'll be more than glad to go back and forth and help you with your concept and assist you with your portfolio. Okay. So let's build up our portfolios. Let's keep it going for the asynchronous Friday. Um, outside of that, make sure you enjoy your holiday. Have a good holiday, but of course be responsible with your work. Turn that in as best you can on any level, on any class. And of course come back safe because we really uh, value you as a student, as a person. And we want you to have a good experience over the break. And so be safe. And of course give us your best because that's what we're going to count on for you to do. Thank you once again. This has been Mr. Ramirez. Uh, do report in for asynchronous by doing that survey. Submit it so we can get to see some of your feedback. Thank you, and we'll see you when we return. Have an amazing day. Feel free to contact me as needed.